honor to introduce to you Dr. Engenas Joseph Lekhanyani, His Grace the Bishop, and I request Professor Zet Nkosi to present the citation. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, I now have the honor to introduce to you Engenas Joseph Lekhanyana for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Theology, honoris causa, and I request Mr. Lekhanyana to rise. Bishop Dr. Engenas Joseph Lekhanyana is the spiritual leader and bishop of the Saint Engenas Zion Christian Church. The church was founded in 1924 by Bishop Engenas B. Lekhanyana, the grandfather to the current bishop, and was then known as the Zion Christian Church. On 31 May 1948, Bishop Engenas B. Lekhanyana passed on, having appointed his son, Bishop Joseph Engenas Lekhanyana, to succeed him as the rightful leader of the church. After the customary year of mourning for the founder, Bishop Joseph Engenas Lekhanyana was installed as the spiritual leader and bishop of the church in 19. 19- 49. On 26 December 1965, the church conference in fulfillment of the prophecy by the founder that the church would in later years be named after him, resolved to sanctify him and name the church after him. The church was from henceforth known as the Saint Engenas Zion Christian Church. In 1972, Bishop Joseph Engenas Lekhanyane passed on, having appointed his son and current bishop as his successor. He was installed as a spiritual leader and bishop at a church conference held at Zion City, Moria, in 1975, and has since become the custodian and incarnation of the values and norms of the church as laid down by his predecessors. Inspired by the founding principles of the church, His Grace Bishop Dr. Engenas Joseph Lekhanyane, through his spiritual gift and sacrosanct leadership, sought and continues to transform the Christian landscape diligently and consciously in Africa and beyond. Driven by, driven by the divine vision of the church, he has done exceptionally well to converge African people's way of life, humanity, and identity with Christianity, to provide Africans the platform to worship and praise God with pride and freedom. Through his steward leadership, His grace as a divine visionary leader has given hope where there was none, as well as healing and restoration to men. He is regarded as a nation builder and compassionate leader who is always sensitive and grounded on the issues, challenges, and plights of members of the church and the public at large. He always serves as an integral part of a leadership that seeks to provide solutions to address societal issues and challenges. His altruistic and idealistic leadership, as well as reliability, have earned him reverence across all sectors of society, 
throughout the world. The phenomenal development and growth of the church has culminated in major inroads in the rural and urban communities across the country. The church has further strengthened its establishment in the Southern African development communities such as Botswana, Eswatini, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique.